Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 82. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 82, 82 to 86. Hey, this YouTuber wanted to, to ask the question, how can I create a formula that will check to see if someone entered capitals only? So they wanted, uh, if someone entered AA in a cell, they wanted it to come up false. And if they entered in capital A, capital A, it would come up as true. Now, we got to run into a problem, and then we'll try and uh, figure out a solution to it. Let's just do a true-false formula here. Equals is the contents of that cell, little a, little a, equal to the contents of this cell, big A, big A. Enter. Uh-oh, there's a problem. Excel doesn't distinguish between lowercase and uppercase. Hey, let's click in this cell and double click. I'm going to uh, double click that and hit the F9 key, which shows uh, which evaluates whatever part of the formula you, you have highlighted. And then I'm going to double click this and hit the F9 key to evaluate it. Now, look at that. It's saying is little a equal uh, two little a's equal uh, two big a's. I'll highlight the whole thing and then hit F9. It says true. I'm going to hit escape because if you hit enter, it'll actually put that true into the cell. If I um, F2, you can see that it's still there. Hey, by, um, so that doesn't work. Well, let's try something else. Let's say equals this equals upper. Now that will um, convert. Upper will officially convert lowercase to uppercase. So let's see if we can uh, trick Excel this way and then enter. Uh-oh, it's still true. And if we do that same little trick where you highlight this, the whole thing and hit F9, and then double click that cell reference and hit F9, the F9 key uh, evaluates whatever part of the formula, it's still, there's a problem here. Because Excel is saying little a, little a equals big A, big A. And we know that's not true. I'm going to click Escape. By the way, there's another way to do this if you um, formula evaluator, formula formula auditing and then evaluate formula in 2003 it's tools and then evaluate formula you do it this way but it I can never get it to show up very big if I click evaluate here so that's why I keep using that F9 trick in lots of these videos now we have to um, then do something still a little bit more tricky now in an earlier video I uh, showed you the exact function and that's how you get around this uppercase lowercase problem because exact function will check case so remember the goal is to have something that um, checks whether someone enters capitals into one cell so watch this equals exact and we can take this text comma and then do our upper and click there what this will do is if they enter two uh, capital A's this will be uh, two capital letters and so will this so it'll come out true but when we enter two lowercase letters this will be lowercase and it will convert whatever's there to upper so that it has the upper to compare to close parentheses and then enter so right now it's false now let's type uh, capital A, capital A. Now it's saying true. If I do a little a, little a, it says false. So that's how to have a formula and trick Excel. And it will tell you when we enter capitals and when we don't enter capitals. By the way, if you hit enter A, it would be false too. Now in a couple of videos ahead, we'll use this formula for data validation. But I just wanted to show you the cool way to trick Excel because it usually can't figure out the difference between lowercase and uppercase. All right, see you next trick.